Hey guys, Speed Rattle, Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Let's go to the Sierra, where you've seen some snow and it's still snowing right now, above 7,500 feet. There's heavier snow. There's a surge that will come in with the actual storm system tonight into tomorrow morning. So you'll get a heavier batch tonight. But you can see it's snowing and blowing up there at the higher elevations of Palisades, Tahoe, the same as holding true down at Kirkwood as well. Let me show you what the radar looks like with this right now. So you can look in California. There's an area of low pressure that is definitely driving the heavier precip up towards Shasta right now. But as it pivots down, um, that heavier band will eventually roll over Tahoe. And again, that happens this evening, tonight, into tomorrow morning. So what about the interior? What about Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Colorado? Well, there is some light snow coming. And you can kind of see little waves of that moving through the interior right now. But again, this is... This is just totally different than what we dealt with a week ago where we had this storm cycle, Arctic air, we were rocking and rolling. I mean, this is, this is really slim pickings at this point. All right, here's the, uh, the, here's the water vapor satellite imagery at this hour. So there's your area of low pressure. And on this, the moisture aloft is in your whites and your blues and your greens. The drier air is oranges and reds. There's a, at least another area of low pressure behind it, if not a couple or three. You can see them all lined up here. Let me just draw the, uh, this is a, a strong subtropical jet guiding everything into the West Coast. This is the Pacific pattern that is going to dominate through at least 128, 129, probably, I might as well just say it, for the rest of the month of January. This will be the dominant pattern with the storm systems hitting the West Coast and occasionally that subtropical jet will spit out a southern track low through the four corners. There's at least two of those. But um, there's no cold air. You know, that's the bottom line. We're, we're not seeing involvement from Canada, from the colder air. It's all going to remain bottled up into Canada. So this is mainly a Pacific flow. All right, let me show you my uh, bullet points here. Here's what I'm thinking this, this morning. So the Sierra snow continues through about 122, above 7,500 feet. Again, a little heavier batch comes in tonight. Utah, light to moderate snow accumulation in the Wasatch this afternoon. So it's coming this afternoon through the morning of 122. It's not continuous. It's very light to moderate as far as accumulation goes. And then again on 123. In Wyoming, you've got some light snow the afternoon, this afternoon through the morning of 122. Colorado, very light snow, 121 through 122. And the northeast, you've got snow coming, afternoon 123 through 126. All right, let me show you what the forecast radar and satellite looks like. So that's the state of affairs by this afternoon. Some light snow curling into the Wasatch, Idaho, and approaching the Tetons. And you can see that snow coming through, um, the heavier snow coming through the Sierra overnight. And this is Sunday morning at 6. A little bit of light snow across uh, parts of Colorado. Here comes the first southern track low. 21-22 affects the four corners with some nice snow. Here comes the second uh, southern track low. This is 123 and 124. Um, some additional snow for Utah, parts of Colorado, New Mexico. And then the shift is up to the Pacific Northwest with another little wave of snow for the, for, uh, the Tetons and the Wasatch through 125 end of day. All right, so you get the idea. It's just these little waves of precip that come through. So let me show you what the jet looks like. So this is 121 on Sunday. Subtropical jets ruling everything, throwing a southern track low through the four corners. Lots of warm air across the west. Here's 125, another southern track low exiting. You can see the trough in Colorado and New Mexico. And then this is 129. Again, no cold air, an amplified jet up into Canada, but this is, this is mainly just Pacific air, a little bit of high pressure ridging, in fact, across the, uh, the coast of California. Let me show you snow totals by time frame. So the rest of today through 121, looking at mod, light to moderate snow through the Wasatch, light snow up in the Tetons, light snow in Colorado, and uh, generally about uh, four to eight inches above 7,500 feet in the, uh, the the Tahoe Mammoth District, but more up on Mount Shasta. Here is the, the second period. This is 122 to 124. Light snow Tetons, light snow Wasatch, light snow Colorado, and again, maybe another four to eight above 7,500 feet in the Sierra. Better, better snow up in the Pacific Northwest in BC. Final time frame. This is 125 to 129. Each of these time periods is remarkably similar with these waves of, of light to moderate snow. So light accumulations, Tetons, light in the Wasatch, light in Colorado, with the exception of southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, as a result of that southern track low. There's at least one, probably two. Um, let's zoom in and look at uh, grand totals. So this is the grand total map. 
uh, basically 120 through 129, very light stuff across the I-70 corridor in north in Colorado, 1 to 3, maybe 1 to 4 inches. A little further west into the West Oaks, maybe up to 6 across uh, the Maroon Bells and Capitol Peak and Conundrum, but less as you head down into Snowmass, Aspen, Aspen Highlands, Crested Butte potentially for a little bit more over Mount Princeton and some of the uh, um, s southern end of the collegiates there. Okay, let's go to the northeast. One last stop. Grand total map 120 through 129. Most of this snow again comes after 123. So we're going to have to wait on this a little bit. 124, 125 um, with Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine potentially going 4 to 12 inches. Um, grand total accumulation during that uh, that late time period. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.